Okay, we're going to have a look at the uh, Phoenix TK20 LED flashlight. It comes in this nice belt holster, Velcro fastening on the front. This is the, uh, there's two versions of this, you can get it with a yellow or a grey handle. I got the yellow, it's easy to find. Um, this light's primarily designed for, for outdoor use. Um, it comes with a Cree neutral white LED. So the colour temperature is about 4000K they say, which gives objects more detail and definition outdoors. Um, the long lens on the front of this uh, is for throw. This, so you get a good kind of spot throw beam on this rather than a floodlit beam. Uh, there's two holes here, you can attach the little... I'll just switch this to macro mode. You get some accessories, you get an orange button for the tail cap, a couple of rubber seals, a little split ring for the lanyard, and you get the pocket clip and a little allen key and the two screws, three, four screws, you get a couple of spares. So you can attach the, uh, the clip into these two holes here, which means it hangs head side upwards on your belt. Um, at the moment I just keep it in my pocket or in the pouch, so I haven't attached the clip. I only got this light yesterday. Uh, give you a close up of it. It is six and a quarter inches long. It has a momentary on. If you just push the button in at the back, which is great. Compared to my P2D, which doesn't have that. And click in for on and click for off. Um, if you twist the head, tighten it up for high, loosen it for low. So it's got a really simple user interface. High, tight, loosen for low. So simple light anyone could use. Um, it takes AA batteries, which is another benefit. I mean, a lot of powerful flashlights these days use CR123 batteries. I have a few Energizer Lithiums in here, which are expensive, but uh, when I'm using a flashlight, I don't have it on for a long time. Usually I'm out walking the dog. I turn it on, just flash mode to see where the dog is, keep an eye on him. So it takes me a while to get through a set of batteries, so I don't mind using Energizer Lithiums. Uh, the rubber grip, um, on the early models of this, there's reports on candle power forums of the grip moving. This one doesn't. Um, this is August 2010, so this is probably a revised model. Um, it's got really, really great quality finish. It's excellent. I mean, this cost me £45, and I wasn't sure whether to get it or not. I'm really glad I did. It's a brilliant torch. Really solid. Space here to attach a lanyard at the back. Um, good outdoors torch. I like the size. As I say, it's six and a quarter inches, and the bezel's 34 mil, or one and a third inch. Um, the recommended batteries are lithiums or maybe Sanyo Enloop rechargeables. Uh, the body is premium Type Three hard anodized aircraft grade aluminium. The bulb has a life of expectancy of 50,000 hours. I say it's 150 lumens on high and 45 lumens on general. Now, let's see the user manual here. If they give some estimations of the time, I think you're meant to get about two hours on high and maybe 10 or 11 hours on the general mode beam, which is pretty good. That's all going to depend on batteries you're using and how you use the torch. There's so many factors, um, but basically Phoenix TK20. Uh, I'll give you a comparison with my little Phoenix P2D for size. This is 180 lumens on high. It takes a CR123 battery. I have a, a review of this on my videos if you want to see it, but there's a size comparison. So 
so you know it's about the length of your hand it's a nice torch well worth the money um, if you want a torch generally for outdoor use and you don't need extremely high lumens um, and this is perfect 45 pounds so that's the Phoenix TK20 Thanks.